What's going on, everyone? Lost Ark Arkesia Ignited Patch dropped today, but there's just way too many words. So, if you can't be bothered to read it all, no worries. I'll do the dirty work for you and give you a nice summary so you don't have to read it yourself. This patch covers a bunch of stuff about Tier 4, and it will be releasing tomorrow. Or, I guess at the time of this video, it's today. It will take 15 hours starting at 12 a.m. Pacific Time, which is 3 a.m. EST for the North American East folks. So according to my calculations, we need to wait until Wednesday 6 p.m. EST for the patch to finish. It's a big one, so let's do a quick summary. North Curzon. It's a new continent. So do the main story quest, B1600 item level minimum. There's a field boss from North Curzon. Great news. I level dropped to 1640. They also increased drop rate. Things like accessories and enlightenment point potion drops. So don't forget to do this. This is for arc passive, by the way. New 1640 plus chaos gate, which gives new skill room. Do this. Curzon front. Like a chaos dungeon that drops accessories, but only once a day. So woohoo, less homework, let's go. There's a 1640 version and a 1660 version. Kenuar Fortress. This is where you get your relic tier 4 gear. They changed it so you can run it an infinite number of times. So get all your gear day 1. Argeos Guardian Raid. Need to be 1640 item level. Chance to drop epic rune vision. I have no idea what it does, but still run the Guardian. Kazaros War Map. Based on a cursory reading, looks like Tier 4 is a completely different map UI, but you can swap between Tier 4 and Tier 3. Ignite Servers. Just watch my Ignite Server video next. Tier 4 Progression Systems. I'm gonna skip this. Either you know exactly how it works, or you probably need to read this in full because it's very important information. Talks about gems, engravings, accessories here. I will cover the arc passive though, since this is a completely new system. There are three tabs, evolution, enlightenment, and leap. Evolution is for everyone. E is for everyone. This is general stuff that you put points into. Enlightenment is for class specific stuff. Leap is for hyper awakening stuff. So for evolution points, you can get them by either leveling up combat EXP or equipping the tier 4 gear. For enlightenment points, the class specific ones, you either level up combat EXP or equip tier 4 accessories or get the enlightenment potions from the field boss. So don't forget to do field boss to get more potions here. Leap points. These are by either leveling up combat EXP or in the future by equipping a tier 4 bracelet and or karma system so look out for that i will skip hyper awakenings but good news everybody we did get news that we will be getting hyper awakening immediately so gg to all our raids free billions of damage by everybody incoming all right so we skip this events light of the abyss event just like any old event shop with new goodies. Hopefully, it'll be tier 4 stuff. Doesn't exactly say, but I would assume so. Yoz's Jar Season 3 Event Exchange. Basically, you open a Yoz's Jar like normal. You're gonna get either a legendary skin or an epic skin. But if you get screwed and you get the epic skin, you now get 10 tickets. And you can use these tickets at the event exchange for random stuff like trail effects, card stuff amethyst shards whatever event honestly just give us like a 2x chance event instead of this stuff i have no idea why this is even a thing okay but moving on so we're gonna skip yoz's jar crystalline aura plus this is basically like disney plus it's a way for lost ark to milk more money out of people it's subscription based and you get some benefits i guess i don't want to talk more about this unless i get sponsored so let's move on for now. Uh, Arc Pass. 
probably some juicy, juicy tier four rewards that I would assume. So make sure you do this. Okay, uh, skip this PVP updates. So there's going to be a new 1v1 relay, but you have to pick three different characters from your roster. So I would assume it's three separate 1v1s in total. Based on how good the rewards are, I may or may not be doing this. So not sure if it's worth it. Next up is Transcendence Changes. So right here. Transcendence Changes, you get some changes, I guess. So I don't know what it was previously. So it's whatever. I don't know if it's a buff or not. Uh, engravings are also changed. In this case, they do tell you the previous and the new. So, for example, there the ambush master is less back attack heavy, and there's more outgoing damage. All of the all attack power percentage, like curse stall and massacrease, they have changed to outgoing damage percent. And there's some interesting new engravings like precision dagger and stabilized status that are fun to probably try out because they got buffed. Other than that, general combat updates. So combat level 60 to 70 should be obvious. Buffed XP gain from stuff, that's nice. Max skill level from 12 to 14, great. No more tripod limit of 18, so just fill up all your tripods, no problem. Add new combat stats, so there's evolution type damage. And this is from the arc passive evolution effect. And then there's also brand power. They also added the perfect block. So in Korea, this is called guard. So I don't know why they had to change translations, but now it's called perfect block. You press G on specific uh, mechanics. Three new runes, mountains, face, vision, poison. I'm pretty sure poison is the only important one here. Elixir imbues are modified. So now they are no longer tied to specific gear. They are just considered gear slots. And the same thing goes for transcendence as well. Cube. New 1640 cube. Next. <laughs> Raid. So we have to go all the way down, I think, here. Yep. Over here. So raid gold buffs to Echidna, hard mode, and normal mode. So amazing. Uh, there's also a nerf, though, to Akan and Voldis for gold. There are raid item level changes. So Voldis hard is now from 1620 to 1610. They mine hard goes from 1630 to 1620. For Guardian Raids, Gargadeth goes from 1610 to 1600. Vescal from 1630 to 1610. And Chaos Gates, they have a much expanded range. So, you know, whatever. You should be 1640 anyways, right? <laughs> okay, let's move on. So we're going to skip this. Oh, no. No, we're not going to skip this. So now, Echidna Normal and Hard and Behemoth give Tier 4 mats. So make sure... You put these two in your two out of three raids for the week. Okay, we're going to skip this because that's pets, but there's pet changes. Guild changes. So now all characters are basically one guild mate. So basically what you should do is just join a massive guild in your server now. Leave your guild on Wednesday when the patch comes live because now there's no penalty. And so just leave and join a big one. I know that's what I'm going to be doing. Do whatever you want. Uh, other than this, uh, let me see if I can actually find it here. Oh, here. Solo mode. So solo mode, nerfed. That is nice for new players. And just overall, I made a complaint video about this. So it's nice that they actually listen. Okay, next up. So we're going to skip all this crap. Um, yeah, because I think the next thing I'm going to want to talk about here is the roster level. Where is it? This? Oop. Uh, skip, 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 skip. Oh, I missed it. Sorry, guys. Where is it? Okay, you know what? You guys can read it for yourself, but I have a little bit more to say about this. So while I try to find it, roster level is now max 400. Oh, I found it. Expanded max roster level to 400. So no worries. There is a boost for lower roster levels as well. So just keep grinding. Uh, but yeah, other than this, there's way more stuff, but we'd be here all day. And then at that point, you might as well have read the patch notes yourself instead of watching the video. So I believe those were all the main things that at least I thought were important to know. There's stuff about balance updates all the way at the bottom here. Ta-da. 
but I'm going to milk it for tomorrow since this video is purely for the summary. So sorry guys, I'll do a similar video where I ch explain the changes in less than 20 seconds format. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this style of content though where I'm summarizing the patch notes. Let me know if you guys like this stuff because it does take time to read all of this and summarize so it'd be nice to get some feedback. Pineapple Gang, can't ever forget about you all. Today's phrase is, forgot the balance update. Put that in your comment. Yeah, yeah, I'll post it tomorrow. Do not worry. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.